carbs do not make you fat. Fat is also not bad for you. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars on supplements every single month, like a certain someone did when he was younger. Eating only clean food all the time? That's not sustainable. Don't do that. Also, only aiming to hit their macros, despite the fact eating junk food all the time. I didn't do that. Only doing barbell back squats to build my legs. Even though there are more scientifically proven exercises to target the quads without hurting your lower back too. Thinking that going heavier is the only way to make more progress. What a stupid mistake. Or that one time when I thought barbell deadlifts were the only deadlifts worth doing. Or when that one time I thought machines were absolutely useless. I wish I had a leg press at home. Do you think Nancy will let me get a leg press at home? Or when I didn't make progress and I blamed my coach, but really, I didn't do anything. I should probably send him an apology email. Or even saying that, it could be when that time I thought bodyweight based exercises were completely useless. Now I'm doing push ups all the time. I used to think tempo was absolutely useless. Now look at me. I used to think that taking steps and hitting your step goal was, well, overrated, but now I just walk up and down my house to get my steps in for the day. That's what happens when you work in an office all day. When it comes to exercise, as well as anything else in life, your why goal and why you're doing something is more important than you think. So don't forget that. I used to think that protein shakes were this magical thing that would help me grow muscles and fast forward my progress. I was wrong. Hence why I spent thousands of dollars on them per month. What a mistake. I used to think it's cardio as a way to help my muscles shrink and I'd avoid it. Now I do it all the time to help me actually feel better and relieve my joints as well. If I didn't eat my meal on time within two hours, I would think that my muscles would shrink and that all my gains would be lost. I also used to think that if I stopped exercising, that my muscle would turn to fat. But they're two completely different types of materials and tissues. I underestimated the value of community and team. And I don't want you to miss out on this one. So make sure you get a lot of support from people who are going through the exact same journey as you. I honestly thought that being uncomfortable was a bad thing. But being uncomfortable is a sign of progressing yourself. That once you've hit your limit, you actually have a little bit more. How you get that out of yourself, you gotta try and find a way. Community is one of them, might I add. I honestly used to think that abs were the only thing that defined if you were healthy, but they are no longer the gold standard. And you should know that too. I honestly used to think that if it wasn't perfect, it wasn't worth doing. But really, perfection is the journey of multiple failures perfected over time. So you have to have imperfections to get perfection. And the last one, perfect is overrated, which is why this is number 31 and not number 30. 
Peace out. Keep building momentum.